What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan Battle video today. So we are finally going to showcase the full Ginyu Force team here on the global version of Dokkan Battle. As you can see, LR Ginyu Goku is finally in my possession. We got him during the live stream today. Shout out to everyone who joined in. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of people in there and uh, it was just, you know, a great time. If you guys missed out on the past ones, don't worry, I'll do more live streams in the future, but there will be no more Ginyu 4 streams. So thank you to everyone who joined in today as well as, you know, Earlier on in the week too, we did one for every single grind, Birder, Galdo, Jace, um, Captain Ginyu, well not Captain Ginyu, well yeah Captain Ginyu, yeah I was thinking like LR Ginyu, but no we also did one for the Int Captain Ginyu and then today for Rakum. So you guys are freaking awesome, I've never streamed so much in my life, it was tiring but also totally totally worth it. Now, we are taking the LR Ginyu Goku as well as the overall Ginyu Force team on the UI Goku event today because I want to see just what this team is made of. On the stream, we took it on Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Clear that, no problem. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, we had to use some items for that one, but it was also no problem either. So now UI Goku is probably one of the hardest events on Global at the moment. And I really wanna see how far we can get. If not, even clear it maybe. But if we don't clear it, if we die, then at least see how far we can make it before we die. And obviously I'm gonna try my best to focus and make sure that I do my best to clear through the entire event and if that's possible then it's a really good sign for free to play players because that, mean, that means that pretty much if you try hard enough and you get lucky enough then this team can beat any single event or at least right now that's currently on global any event uh, with the exception of Super 17 because he absorbs all those key blast attacks but anyways um, this is the team those are the items actually no these are the items I'm bringing because I'm bringing the defensive items and those slashes things like that because I don't want to die. I know this event's going to be hard, so no you know, no nuking today, no uh, Tabura cookie. But nonetheless, we are still going to have some fun. Uh, this is the Ginyu Force um, LR. He gives extreme class allies attack and defense plus 30%. He also gives Ginyu Force allies attack and defense 30%, about well, additional 20% as well. So 50% overall support for the Ginyu Force here. He gives all Ginyu Force category units 100% 100% attack, defense, and HP, and then plus three key. So overall, he is the best possible leader for this team, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do it, man. I'm, I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. Let's clear the stage. Let's just make it happen on camera. One try. We're only gonna do one try. If we die, we die. We're gonna take our best shot at this one run, and then whatever happens, happens, right? Wish me the best of luck. I wish you guys the best of luck as well if you're going to be running events with this team or you're still grinding for the Ginyu Force members. This team is 100%. No question, totally worth the grind. And that, I'm saying that as a pay-to-play player that spends a decent amount of money on this game. And you have my friend Anthony, AC Gaming. He is, you know, quite a bit bigger of a whale than me. I, I consider myself like a dolphin. He is a true, like, beluga whale, white blue whale, white whale, whatever you want to call it. He is a, you know, a whale, man. He spends like 5,000 stones, 4,000, 5,000 stones on dual Dokkan Fist banners. A regular banner is at least 2,000 stones that he really wants to summon on at least. So overall, you know, a big whale. <laughs> and, you know, even he is farming out the Ginyu Force because he thinks it's totally worth it. I think it's totally worth it. You guys should definitely do it if you haven't done it yet or you're considering it. Just do it, man. Just do it. So um, I like to do rotations like this. We're going to do Ginyu and Jace in one rotation, and then the next rotation we're gonna have uh, Int, Captain Ginyu, and the LR Ginyu again. Some people, you know, have different opinions. Some people think that that's not the right way to go about it. That's okay, man. Like, you can do whatever you want. I think this is the best way to go about it because this LR Ginyu actually does the second most damage on this team just next to Int Ginyu. And then Jace obviously is here because he can foresee the super attacks and also give us uh, some support with his passive. So there's just a lot of things going on for this. Oh, look at that. Was that, was that a Birder? Oh, that was Birder, right? With the crit, awesome. But there's just a lot of good things going on with this rotation. And then the next rotation as well with the LR Ginyu and the Int Ginyu, that's gonna be a very hard hitting rotation too. So I'm just trying to squeeze as much damage out of this team as possible. We're gonna keep the Ginyu here and we can actually get his Mega, or no, not Mega, Ultra Super Attack off. And it's a really, really cool animation, guys. So I'm excited for you guys to see it and for me to see it again because I really liked it the first time I saw it. Let's go. 960k attack stat, all right. And you just get everyone, all the Ginyu 4s coming in with their attacks. 
And we got 528k, not bad, and a decent tank as well, 6k attack, or 6k, they do 6k damage from the attack. There we go with our boy, ooh, Galdo with the additional, totally worth it, the additional attacks are definitely worth it on this guy. He didn't get the stun off though, but that's okay, that's alright. Here we go. Um, oh, you know what, I totally forgot, I totally forgot about the, ooh. Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> here's the thing, um, if we don't kill the Spirit Bomb Goku next turn in one turn, then he's gonna kill us, like, it's a one shot, right, it's a one shot, so I only brought Ghost Ushers, so if the Ghost Usher doesn't work, then we're totally screwed, or, or I mean, it, it's gonna work, but if, if, if it's not enough, like that one turn it buys us, it's not enough, then we're totally screwed, so, okay, we'll, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, but, I, I screwed up there, I, Totally, totally screwed up there. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, we might have to come back then. You know, I said the thing about the one shot, but hey, I didn't take into consideration that Spirit Bomb stage and how the Ghost Usher is probably not going to be enough for us to clear it. Unless you got really lucky, unless you got a lot of crits and everything like that. But we might have to come back. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, man. Okay, we, we're on the Spirit Bomb Goku stage. At least we have... Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna hope that, bur uh, not Burger, I'm gonna hope that Goldo actually gets the stun off, but, you know, I'm not gonna, not gonna take risks like that. We're gonna still use the Ghost Usher this turn, and if Goldo gets the stun off, that's gonna be the gravy, or the icing on the cake. The gravy on the cake. Don't put gravy on cake, guys, that's disgusting. Um, but the icing on the cake. Alright, uh, that works, alright. Come on, let's get some crits going, let's get some, some stuns, maybe? That would really help a lot in clearing this one before he kills us, come on. Come on, stun, stun, stun. 512k, can we get a crit with Burr? All right, okay, that, that's good. Is he stunned though? Oh man, he's not stunned. Okay, okay. Um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pray that we get some crits here. Cause I, okay, I, I, I would use, whoops, go back. I would use double Whis, but I don't think double Whis is actually enough. You actually need to use double Yemma to actually, you know, be able to tank that attack. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pray that it works out. You know, we got the Ultra Super off with him, and then we got, you know, Genyu doing doing his thing. So I'm just gonna pray. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pray that it works out. Come on, come on, Genyu, get a crit, get an additional something. Oh man, I'm scared. I'm so scared, guys. Come on, get a crit off here. It's a 10% it's a chance, but it is possible. It is possible. Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right, we did it, guys. That was so clutch. Man, oh, yo, we probably killed him by like an extra 10k. If we did like 10k less damage, I think we would have died. But we did it. We made it, and that's all that matters. All right. Um, mm, okay, I see why this could be a tricky situation now because UI Goku does have type advantage against our LR Ginyu, which is why the stage could be difficult for this team. But you know what? We'll try our best. Hopefully, we can get a stun off maybe with Goldo. Um, who knows? Who knows? Maybe get a crit off with the LR Ginyu. But like, like I'm saying, like this guy actually does quite, quite <clears throat> a solid amount of damage. Oh shoot. I should have ghost usher there, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? I, I, I totally should have. Oh, no, I totally should have, like, used a Whis or something. Yo, are we screwed? Are we dead? Oh, no. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Wow. Um, well, we made it <laughs> at least to the second last stage of the fight. We didn't get quite as close as I expected or hoped we would. But, um,. You know, it goes to show that this is not an easy stage for for the Ginyu Force team. <laughs> I yo yo should, should we should we should we try again? Should we try again? You know what? Let's try again. Screw it. I lied. I lied in the beginning. We do, if we die, we try again. We don't give up. <laughs> I use the stone. I don't care because it's worth it for this video. Okay, for this video, we're gonna keep trying. Or at least try one more time. I'm not. I'm gonna say we're gonna keep trying, but like, at least, at least one more time. Yo, it sucks though. Like we were so, it was so hype with the, you know, with that clutch kill of the SDR or the yeah the the spirit bomb stage two. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll try again. I, I think. I think it's possible. I think if I just 
manage my items a little bit better. And if we can actually find a good Ginyu here, <laughs> that we can actually make it possible. Come on. Alright guys, it took a while, but we did find an SA20 Captain Ginyu with the uh, potential system filled out as well. So let's make this let's make this happen. Let's do it. We're gonna try try one more time at least and try to clear this stage. I think it's possible. I believe in us. I believe in this team. Um, only issue is that I... Okay, so I, I swapped out the Android 8 item, which is healing and defense, for a Baba item because, you know, I think we got really lucky with that Spear Bomb stage, so I don't think we're gonna get that lucky again. So having that extra Baba will really help in giving us at least two turns. Or maybe three turns on that spirit bomb stage to clear clear him and then get out to the uh, in stage, right? So I, I I'm not sure if that was the best move, but I was you know I, we did cut it really close. So I want to make sure that we can actually get through that stage and at least have another attempt at the in stage, the actual like UI Goku stage, right? So okay, we'll just we'll just make the best of it. Let's see what happens. So Ginyu 521k. I was also thinking of doing individual showcases for the Raccoon and the uh, LR Ginyu like I did previously with all the other units, but I don't know if it's really necessary, and I'm really excited, I'm just so excited to run this Ginyu Force team in full, that I don't really know if I'm actually gonna be able to, you know, hold off on releasing this video, uh, you know, until I make the other two showcases, so I'm probably just gonna end up releasing this first, and then if I really feel like it, or maybe if you guys really want it, then I'll do a showcase of the individual Ginyu or Raccoon on uh, Super, no, Extreme Physical, and also, of course, Extreme Tech for the LR Ginyu too. I don't know, let me got, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing something like that. If not, then it doesn't really matter, you know, I, I just won't do it. I already have this Ginyu Force Showcase here with all of the units, so that could be enough for you guys to see how the team does overall, and maybe you guys just don't care about seeing Raccoon individually and the LR Ginyu Goku individually. Let me know in the comments, if enough people say they want it, then I'll do it. We're going to Ghost Usher on this turn, and maybe the Goldo, just maybe, he will actually get the stun off. We'll see, we'll see. This is going to be an Ultra Super. Again, we get to see that <laughs> sweet, sweet Ultra Super animation, which I love so much. Enjoy, guys. Yep, yep. Goldo, Raccoon. Yep. Birder, Jace, and then Ginyu finishes it off. 642k. Not too bad. Not too bad. And 513k from Jace too. Like I said, even though he's a support unit, they all give each other a ton of support, and it actually makes them kind of like, you know, kind of kind of hard hitters. Oh look, we got the we got the stun off too. Yo, Galdo coming in clutch. We didn't even need the Baba items. Now now I'm regretting it. Um, I'm, I'm regretting not bringing any extra healing now. But we can't we can't do anything about that. We we can't go back. We made our we made our choice. We laid our bed and we're gonna sleep in it now. <laughs> let's just hope it doesn't. Let's just hope it works out. Let's just hope it works out. Ginyu 841 crit, LR Ginyu with the 816k attack stat, and he's gonna hit for 513k. Not too bad. Like I said, second hardest hitter on this team. If you guys aren't running him in rotation, it's up to you. But I don't think it's the right thing to do. All right, so we gotta heal up real quick. And, um, you know what, I'm gonna, for the purpose of today's video, and for this stage specifically, I'm gonna actually keep Birder in rotation because I want him to get those dodges off. Let's get us a heal first, and I'm also gonna use a Whis. And I don't know how much the Whis is gonna help us, but it is gonna help, it is gonna help, without a doubt. We're not gonna die at least on the first turn like we did last time. Three, four, five, okay, we'll give him five there. And he can take those three, and I will give two more to Jace. All right, at the very least, we're not gonna die this turn. That I can promise. Or maybe, mm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Dodge with the burger, sick. And can we maybe get a crit here? Otherwise, yeah, the damage is not gonna be great. But 77 damage, 77 damage, 700 triple digit damage is not too bad. Coming from an Ultra Instinct Goku, I know we used the the item. We use the Whis, but nonetheless, I think it's pretty good. Is he... Oh yeah, he can't be stunned. Okay, I, I just saw that on the top left corner. I'm like, can he be stunned? Maybe Goldo can stun him. No stunning. A lot of the newer events don't have... Uh, well, won't allow you to stun the boss, so that's that's that. Okay, Ginyu, go over there. 
take that one orb. We're gonna give all these to the LR Ginyu. Sick. And you can take those. Ooh. I'm, I'm optimistic, man. I'm optimistic. He's gonna tank this for under 50k with the Whis, right? He's gonna under 50k, yeah? Just over, just over. That's not bad. 834k attacks that, though. And, uh, you know, that damage is not too bad. That damage is not too bad. That's such a sick animation, man. I don't think I'm gonna get sick of watching that, like, anytime soon. And here's the thing, guys. If, you, if we don't clear this today, we tried our best, number one, right? We tried our best... And we put in the best effort we possibly could. But even if we don't clear it, um, just know that it can still clear most other stages. Like it, the other stages, like SSJ4 Goku, all the SSJ4s really, Mass Saiyan, um, SSJ3 Angel Goku, all like the hard stages that are uh, at least hard for newer players can be cleared by this team. So, as with the exception of Super 17, you should be good to go for most of them. UI Goku, maybe not. But. You know, it's still a really good team. Like, I, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hit on them just because they can't beat this one, one stage. And actually, we got the Raccoon here who can tank, and he also has type advantage. So let's keep him in rotation here, and we can possibly get a Dokkan attack off. But it doesn't look like the orbs are gonna work out like that. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Raccoon tanks 5k, 5k. Very good. That's very, very good tanking from Raccoon. And he's gonna hit for 364k. That's sick. I think he actually has max attack stat now. He has max, max attack stat because I think it takes... I'm not 100% sure. I, I need to go look look at it. But I believe it's 5 hits. 5 hits before Raccoon becomes full attack potential. Which is 3... 70% uh, right? 70% attack. But why am I speculating? Why don't I just look at the actual card? My god, Tiger. Come on. Okay. Uh, Raccoon. Here we go. Defense plus 80% attack plus 14% with each attack up to 70%. So you need 5 attacks to get to the 70%. We already got that. So Rakum is at 100% or 70% but 100% of his full potential. Here we go. Um, do I need to... I think I do need to Ghost Usher here. Because he will absolutely wreck me <laughs> with that super. So at least here we can get the token attack off and we can heal a little bit before he gets the super off. Or maybe we can just clear the stage. If we get lucky, we get some crits, get some additionals, should be good to go. Let's go. Oh, don't don't mess up, Tiger. Don't mess up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got it. We got it. We're four for five for the showcases. We missed yesterday's. But yesterday's is really fast. It's not my fault. The one with the one with Jace was just stupid, stupid fast. This one we got perfect. We got the other three before that perfect as well. So I'm happy. 767k. Can we get a crit with this one? Please. Please crit. Please crit. It's a 10% chance. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Okay, we're moving on to the next stage. We still got four items. I think it's possible, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're definitely going to pop a Whis immediately. Pop a Whis ASAP. Oh, my God. So many attacks. Um, so he's definitely gonna go there. He's gonna go there. Okay, um... I'm gonna Whis, obviously. Um... And... Should I... If we heal, we're gonna... We're definitely dead, so I'm gonna... Use some Baba. Wait, using this item will have no... Wait, why does Baba not work? Why does... Wait, why? Why does Baba not work right now? Well, I, I guess we'll just heal up then, but I don't understand it. Can you not use Baba and Ghost Usher at the same time? Is that a thing? I don't know. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll take what we can get. Well, well you... Well, what, oh, man, that's so dumb. Okay, I, may, that, maybe that was a stupid mistake on my end, but I had no idea that was a thing. Maybe I'll try to use Baba next turn and it'll work. We'll see. 55... Yo, Raccoon is putting in that work with the tanking, though, man. That's crazy. 612k. Critical. 500... Oh, yes. Okay, Raccoon. He cleared a bar, at least. He cleared a bar. We have nine bars to go. <laughs> and uh, LR, Ginyu Goku, is not doing much for us right now. Goldo's not going to do much for us either. He doesn't get the, the stun, but he can reduce his HP 
no, his attack and defense by 20% for two turns. So that might help us a little bit. Let's try Baba again. That has no effect. Okay, are, are you serious? Is this, is this for real right now? So you actually can't run uh, Ghost Usher and Baba at the same time. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I didn't know that. I, I actually had no clue. That was a that was a that was a thing. Okay. Take those burger. Here you go. I'm gonna be honest. I think our chances are looking a little slim. They're they're not looking as hot as I was hoping they would, but it's it's still possible. There's still some hope to be had. We're still gonna get burger, or we're gonna get Rakum next turn. He's gonna tank quite decently. We got we got burger dodging the attacks here, even though he's obviously not gonna dodge. Okay, of course he's not gonna dodge the super. So annoying. Wow, he's gonna dodge those regular attacks to do 40 damage, but he's not gonna dodge the super. Wow. Okay. Almost a million attack stat with the Ginyu. No crit, no additional. Okay, 103 damage. Oh, Milky Cannon though. I like that, I like that. Okay. <laughs> Gonna put him there. Take some strength, strength orbs. Um, I'm actually gonna take him out of rotation just because he's so such a liability in terms of tanking and damage. He usually is really good on rotation. Seriously, like seriously, seriously good on rotation, but not in this case where, you know, <laughs> where he has this type of advantage on the really hard stages. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. We're cutting it really close. I don't know if we can tank that one regular attack. If we do though, we might have a shot. Uh... Oh man, okay. No, we're not we're not continuing. We're not using another stone for this. But you know what guys? I think what we learned today is that it's possible to clear the UI Goku stage with the Ginyu Force team because look how far we got. We got to four bars on the last stage. Okay, he only had four bars left. If we had some better RNG, if I wasn't dumb and you know didn't bring or, or if I wasn't dumb and brought both Baba and Ghost Usher and actually brought a Ghost, uh, not Ghost, a Android 8 instead, then I think we actually might have done it, you know? If we had the healing item with the defense buff, I think we could have done it. This team is in fact the best team for a free-to-play player. Well, what I'm trying to say, actually, is that it's the best free-to-play team and it's a really good team for almost anyone, even if you're pay-to-play, because he will, or this team will be really good for the LR Frieza campaign that's coming up, as well as the LR Trunks. And if you haven't grinded LR Goku yet, this guy, this team will destroy him as well. So very, very solid team. Make sure you grind it and uh, go clear some events and just, you know, have a good time with the game because that's what it's all about. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys found the video entertaining. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see and you want to see more of it, then consider hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, if you guys have a fantastic day, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.